Lucas from Australia. Yeah, Lupo was a Lucas main. I'm not too sure how often he uses Lucas in this game. So far, we've seen him in two matches here, mm -hmm. and he was. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's PR'd in Australia yeah, he right now. Is. Um, and he was definitely PR'd in Australia. He was one of Australia's best players in Smash 4 as well. Mm -hmm. And but like mainly he's Lucas. But I think Ness is possibly better. I don't know too much about the PK kids in general. I do think that Ness overall has gotten buffed in this game previously yeah. compared to his Smash 4 counterpart. Yeah. That directional air dodge is so good for him. Oh, yeah. They both have the same directional air dodge too, so it's not really much of a transition. Oh, he got, almost got the read on that. But getting with the stomp to bear, getting him off stage. And one thing I, I want to like kind of talk about when you were talking about how uh, the differences between Ness and Lucas. Um, Ness has more like of a... Uh, a neutral, like his um his buttons are a lot more oppressive, especially his aerials, like the nair and the bear. Yeah. Oh, but that uh, that uppy was unfortunately couldn't snap the ledge and got punished very hard for it. Yeah, I, I do feel like Ness is probably better, but I just I know so little about Lucas. Mm -hmm. Like I know we have like two name up in the Mars as well, but mm -hmm. I just feel like just general raw kill power. I feel like Ness kind of has it in that category. Great up there, catching on the landing. But yeah, going even like the combo game as well, like. Just uh, just like the side magnet combos, mm -hmm. I feel like the throw combos are better too. Yeah. You see uh, Lupo trying to get the side magnet extension as well right there. You know, it's not working out. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, from like what I've been hearing, hearing from both Shine and um, Muffin is that they kind of both agree that Ness might be better. Like, okay. Because his button, like his move is a lot better. Um, you kind of don't really need to think, but I feel like they are, they're better like <laughs> You need to oh, worry about matches more, but man, that stomp to me. Yeah, that's super. Like, Leaf is killing it right now. We should talk more about Falcon. Yeah, I mean, Falcon, definitely a character that is kind of like Little Max in a sense where a lot of people think he's like really bad. Yeah. There are a few believers out there, and I mean, he does have some setups. He has some Nair 1 setups. You have the, uh, the stomp setups as well because you cannot tech. Um, spikes on the ground now. Yeah. So it's kind of similar to Yoshi. Got some uh, setups off of that. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. Also, he also has the uh, the first hit of fair in Denise. That that is a confirmation. Snare. Fifth set. Yeah. Fifth air. Yeah. Snare. My bad. My bad. First set of Nair in Denise. Fair Nair. One letter changes so much. But man, yeah. um, looks like uh, Luko still has a little bit of a mountain to climb. He's been kind of struggling against just the pressure that um, Leaf has been putting out. You gotta be so careful, especially against like Falcon and Ganon. Oh, oh great, near turn. Yeah, wow, that's enough. That killed him. Yeah, pretty strong move there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't expect him to die from that, but I mean, he was pretty far off stage. Yeah, it was, he was way up there. He couldn't really DI down. It was, yeah, it, he was kind of like nearly a in that dead zone. Like, there's not really much you could do. I don't even. I don't know how much DI could save you there. <laughs> yeah, I mean at that point it's kind of just like, do you pull the trigger on your directional air dodge? Do you think he's baiting you? Yeah, that, yeah. that was pretty much the only like mix up he had left mm -hmm. there. But it, it can be really scary. I mean, Luko, previous to that situation, he was on the platform and he tried to jump out because it, it's really scary just shielding on a platform against Falcon because they do have that command grab up you. Yeah. Or like a Falcon or Ganondor, which can kill as well. Yeah, that so definitely it's, can. So it's a very scary thing and. I mean, we just saw Falcon do such a good job pressuring Luko there. Yeah, and another thing that um, I want to point out is like when Nesses and Lucases are recovering high, they are going to be a little more hesitant to like keep their air dodge, right? Because their air dodge is so important for their recovery. Yeah, very, very true. They don't. They only got one in this game. Smash mm -hmm. Four. You could spam that hard. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, especially like how much of a direction, like, I mean, how much movement you get from your directional air dodge as these two characters, it's like gold. So they're going to be a lot less, they're going to be a lot more hesitant to, uh, to use it. Oh, almost got him with that magnet um, conversion, but it looked like he was a little late and they had the little dead zone. Yeah, Luko definitely trying to get these conversions, but maybe going for it, uh, not... Not at the right percents or something of the sort, or maybe he's just not used to comboing Falcon, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It is still very early into the game, so uh, matchup in ex inexperience is definitely going to be a thing. Yeah, especially with how crazy um, Falcon is like, against you, and he just oh. got another stop to me. Yeah. Man, Leaf has been on point with those today. Oh, yeah, and uh, for sure, Leaf is definitely getting his conversions, and uh, they are leading into the kills, and re just really good setup in the game right there, but Luko definitely going to use that Falcon up B with the yo-yo. Mm -hmm. It's gonna That's kind of what Luko should do a little more, in my opinion, is abuse that 
that really bad recovery that Falcon has. Oh, he got him with the, the stomp. Another one? No. So close. But he went for it. Yeah, he did go for it. And I, I definitely think that was a play. There was no double jump there. If he hit that stomp on the up B right there, Ooh. definitely would have been hurting again. Mm -hmm. Going for maybe a possible two frame attempt there Ooh. from Leaf. Trying to get him with the towards match. A little risky, but Luko opting to just give himself safe position. Fire racking up so much damage. That's another thing that got tremendously changed from the previous game. Deku Gay Fire is a lot better than mm -hmm. it was in the Smash 4. Oh, another Ooh. one? Another Ooh. note. He's been killing it. He's been killing it. Cross stage. It yeah. doesn't like I he, I get you get hit on the right side, the left side, it don't matter. It don't, that knee is so strong that you're just dead. Mm-hmm. Oh. Trying to, and now Luko really needs to take out the stock because all this momentum going to leave right now, it's it's monstrous. Oh, Lu yeah. Luko retaliating with the bear, though. Yeah, good stuff from Luko. Oh, he got the trip animation. Oh, oh, oh man. He, he's getting so close to, like, converting some of these uh, narrow one conversions. Yeah, like, to, like, ridiculous, like, setups as well, too. Ooh. There's that directional air dodge coming in clutch, because if he started that upbeat, you already know Leaf would have been down there stomping on him. Yeah, he would have gone hard. But then that's another thing that Leaf could do, is like if he believes that Luko might go for the directional air dodge, he does have that down tilt, and that down tilt is such a mess. Like, it'll put him in, it'll put Luko in, a, Luko in a really bad position. Man, Leaf's conversion game is actually very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, are you oh, dead? No, oh. he's, he's he's finally out of yeah. the kill range. Yeah, like, yeah, like, just <laughs> barely. <laughs> just that, little, that probably like 10% <laughs> that was his saving grace. And now, oh, now he's got to deal with all these aerials. Coming in from Ness. Oh, Great air dodge. <laughs> yeah, Luko's so uh, fortunate that he's out of that stomp range because mm -hmm. he landed two very key stomps with oh, that drive. command grab. Oh, man, he almost died cross stage to that. Yeah, yeah. it's so strong right now. And now this is the option. Try to go for the jab mix-up. But the jab might have killed him, the gentleman. Yeah, the gentleman probably would have. Forward for throw, giving him stage position. Jump oh, smash. there it is. And you were pointing that out earlier. It's a very, it did get nerfed, but it's still really good against characters with like very bad recoveries. Mm -hmm. Falcon definitely being one of them. Your upbeat doesn't have a hitbox, so usually you can contest the yo-yo is if you have a hitbox of your own. Yeah, exactly. And Falcon, his uh, upbeat is actually a grab, mm -hmm. so he loses the traditional FGC triangle there, mm -hmm. or the RPS there. And uh, yeah, attacks, beating grab, and that is going to be Luko clutching Game that two. out. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> was looking uh, it was looking scary. It was scary, and he looked like he could have lost right there. For oh, sure. yeah, for sure, and, and like the fact that he was he was too high of a percent when he got hit by that first stomp. Mm -hmm. And he and we saw Leaf land so many stomps after that. Mm -hmm. So it's just, he was just out of range of the kill set, and that's why percentages are so, so important. And I mean, if if Leaf went for that stomp, you know, 10 or 15% earlier, that would have been a clean victory for him. And that's why exactly. knowing all your percentages, and that's why Smash can be so, so intricate, because, you know, it's, it's one of the few fighting games where certain setups only work at certain Times. I mean, I guess in the in traditional FPC, like mm -hmm. you, there's like corner combos, but other than that, it's kind of just like you know you have your bread and butter. But with Smash, there's always DI, there's always you know weight and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. But like in a sense, right? Um, Smash has its own form of a corner, right? Being off stage, you have to yeah, deal with recovering, and that's in itself kind of gets like racks up a lot of percentage against you because you're worried so much about like getting back on stage and not dying. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely just like pretty much traditional FPC, but in like different forms, which is mm -hmm. really cool to see. Mm -hmm. yeah, and another tool that I haven't seen Luko use, but could be useful specifically in this matchup, is that up smash, right? Because he's been running toward the ledge, but he's been a little late turning around, right? right. But he would still be able to get the gimp with the, oh, he went deep, and he actually died. Man, Leaf dying for the greed. Yeah, That's I mean, for him. he was going for the edge guard, which you should be doing against Ness, does not have the best recovery. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just kind of miscalculated how deep he was going and... Oh, but he got it back. Okay. <laughs> he, he pumped him with the fist, he got he, it. He, he got, like, the, <laughs> got the first stock back. Mm -hmm. So, evening it right back up here, but this PK fire is going to be so much damage right into the grab no. already. Yeah, you have to respect that PK fire. And if you do not have a kind of get out of jail free option, SDI is not as prominent for the PK fire in this game as it was in the last game. Right. So now, this is a really bad spot for Luko. Because, oh, he got two framed with that down air. That and was insane. Yes, and we've seen Leaf going for that setup time and time again this mm -hmm. entire set. But it's finally coming to fruition in this game number 
three, and wow, he wanted to just oh, end another his one. Soul. Dude, these stomps are so oppressive. It it feels like you could stomp into whatever you feel like. Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And then even if he misses the follow up, he has like a low key tech chase after as well. Mm -hmm. And like he could read the air dodge. He could go for like a forward smash too. Yep. Nice side magnet set up. Oh, the there's the up smash. Oh, there is the up smash. Yeah. Maybe the Luko is quiet. <laughs> like, oh dang. Man. Maybe, maybe they're listening in. I know, huh? Luko kind of still on that back throw. Wait a minute. Oh, leave. Really good that he went off stage there. If he went on stage, oh, he's dead. Off. He's beyond dead. <laughs> greedy, greedy leaf. He wanted to get the dash attack in the corner. You already know Ness. Got when that. Ness is shielding in the corner, he just wants one thing, guys. <laughs> he just wants that juicy back throw. And it's disgusting. Oh, oh got him sour with the knee. knee? Yo, <laughs> is that dead? That is he dead. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, he gimped him with the sour knee. What a man. He went into the jaws of death, looking at that PKT2, and he just had the knee out. Yeah, he didn't even hit him with a strong knee. Yeah, no, dude. no powers, no lightning, just, no, just like a manly knee. He said, "I'm just going. It's just happening. Yeah. It's throwing it out there. You're, if it hits, it hits." To be fair, it is a lingering hitbox. Mm -hmm. My man threw out a lingering hitbox, but it was just cool because it was knee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everyone loves a knee. Yeah, like, the knee adjustment. The knee 